Some were lovable, some were laughable, and some were downright unrecognizable. That's very convenient. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cross-dressing roles. For this list, we've decided to stay away from more serious cross-dressing roles and have instead focused on more comedic films that made us laugh, giggle, and sometimes cringe. Yeah, well, maybe my balls don't itch. All balls itch, it's a fact. Number 10, Joyce Heiser as Terry Griffith, just one of the guys. Sometimes I just wish I were a guy. In this enjoyable 80s romp, Heiser plays a teenage girl on a mission to prove her skills as a journalist by dressing as a teenage boy. I'm gonna take that article to Sturgis Water and I'm gonna submit it as a guy. Turned down for an internship supposedly due to her good looks, she's out to demonstrate that she's more than just a pretty face. I write an excellent article and just because I'm cute, no one takes me seriously. She makes a convincing teenage boy and teenage girl, making her performance fairly spot on. Wait a minute, are those what I think they are? I'm sorry. Where do you get off having tits? Number nine, Johnny Depp as Ed Wood, Ed Wood. What do you think you're doing? I'm directing. As a self-proclaimed transvestite, Ed Wood enjoyed the occasional poodle skirt and heels combo. All right, everybody, let's get set up for scene 112. Johnny Depp's turn as the cult film director offered up the perfect amount of pep, perkiness, and pleasant disposition, adding humor and the occasional dash of gravitas to the role. I like to dress in women's clothing. The film garnered rave reviews, and even though it's not a huge plot point, we think Depp's cross-dressing performance helped it along. God, how can you act so casual when you're dressed like that? It makes me feel comfortable. Number eight, Sean and Marlon Wayans as the Wilson sisters, White Chicks. The Wayans brothers play two FBI detectives who go undercover as a couple of socialite sisters in this extreme case of cross-dressing gone wild. Nah, yo, hold my poodle. Hold my poodle. Hey, yo, what's up? Y'all got a problem? The brothers' transformation into the pair of white chicks is completed with full body makeup, contact lenses, nasal prosthetics, and wigs. It's pretty convincing in a creepy, uncomfortable, pseudo racist kind of way. Make him away downtown, walking fast, faces past him homebound. Number seven, Martin Lawrence as Big Mama. Big Mama's house. Look at you, Big Mama. I hardly recognize you. Oh, child, that's only makeup now. In this gender swapping film, Martin Lawrence plays Malcolm Turner, yet another FBI agent who must go undercover as a woman to unravel a criminal scheme. Then she's just gonna leave, and then we have no case. Don't worry. Big Mama be here. Lawrence dons a fat suit and undergoes hours of makeup to be turned into Big Mama, a southern matriarch and the key to cracking the bank robbery case. Shenanigans ensue, and Lawrence eventually ends up solving the crime and winning the girl at the end, cause it's what's on the inside that counts. Big Mama? Yeah? Is there another flashlight under there? Number six, Nathan Lane as Mrs. Coleman, The Birdcage. Oh, yes, Coleman. Uh, the D is silent in America. Lane actually plays Albert, one half of a gay couple who goes all out to impress a conservative, straight-laced family. Well, she told him that you were the cultural attaché to Greece and Albert was a housewife. What? Albert takes on the role of Mrs. Coleman, a traditional wife and mother who must convince the parents of his boyfriend's son's fiance that he and his partner are a conventional right-wing American family. Maybe I'm just an old-fashioned girl, but I pity the woman who's too busy to stay home and take care of her man. Of course, there's lots of confusion, but Lane's performance as a middle-aged married woman is a standout moment in the film. My Number 5. Patrick Swayze, Wesley Snipes, and John Leguizamo as drag queens. To Wong Fu, thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. Darling, if you're going to become a drag queen, you're going to have to learn these things. These three men deviate entirely from their ultra-macho, action hero personas with their performance as three drag queens stranded in a small town. Well, ladies, welcome to Snydersville. Thank you. 
headed to a drag show pageant when their car breaks down, Vita Boem, Noxima Jackson, and Chichi Rodriguez inject a little fabulousness into the town before taking off in a trail of glitter and fierceness. We may have cringed a fair amount, but these performances are undeniably entertaining. I'm just a sweet transvestite. Number 4. Tim Curry as Dr. Frankenfurter, The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Transylvania. Curry plays this sweet transvestite in his role in the 1970s cult classic. I'm just a sweet transvestite. Wearing tons of makeup, heels, and garters, Curry struts and performs the iconic character that garnered a cult following, unparalleled in movie history. It's just a jump to the left. His performance as the Swings Both Ways doctor is memorable not just because of the lipstick, but also for his mischievous and entertaining delivery. It's not easy having a good time. Number three. Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon as Josephine and Daphne, some like it hot. But you're not a girl, you're a guy, and why would a guy want to marry a guy? Security! Curtis and Lemmon pair up in this classic comedy as a couple of jazz musicians hiding out from the mob. It's no use, we're not gonna get away with it, Joe. My name is Josephine, and this was your idea in the first place. After witnessing the infamous St. Valentine's Day massacre, the two decide it would be prudent to dress up as ladies and hit the road with an all-female band. We have been playing with the wrong band. Sound, Daphne. Maintaining the farce becomes difficult, however, when they encounter the sultry and irresistible Miss Sugar Cane. If there's ever anything I can do for you, I can think of a million things. Number two, Robin Williams as Mrs. Euphigenia Doubtfire, Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! Williams plays an unemployed actor and devoted father who will do anything to spend more time with his kids. He'll even wear a dress and get a job as their nanny. Ah! Look at this! My first day as a woman, I'm getting hot flashes. His makeover is so thorough, not even his own children recognize him. And eventually, he wins their hearts as their strict yet lovable caregiver, Mrs. Doubtfire. Not anymore. The only thing you'll be watching is deep CNN. By the end of the movie, he's found out, but finds a less strange way to see his kids. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. That woman is a woman! A woman? You mean that goat? I must be absolutely crazy. How did I ever let it get this far? No, and don't call me that. Can't help it. The girl has her feelings. <laughs> The thing is, Dill, you're not a girl. Details, baby, details. I mean, uh, sorry you had to see that, but you know how it is when you get those uh, manly urges. Ron, my name is Dorothy. Number one, Dustin Hoffman is Dorothy Michaels, Tootsie. Michael Dorsey can't land an acting job for the life of him, so he takes matters into his own hands and decides to try his luck as a woman. You're not threatening enough. Not threatening enough? How's this? You take your hands off me, or I'm gonna knee your balls right through the roof of your mouth. These efforts are complicated by the relationships with the women in his life, the suitors interested in his new persona, and his sudden jump into stardom. He's so insecure because he's so insecure. Well, I have to be tough because he just wants my body. Hoffman's role as Dorothy Michaels was so spot on, it led to an Oscar nomination. And that means you, dear. Miss Marshall, shame on you, you macho shithead. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite cross-dressing role? For more entertaining top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What are you looking at? <laughs>